All right, YouTube. So usually I put my introduction in front of my videos, but the drone looks a lot better now than it does during the video. And I'm bringing this up right now because I want you guys to watch this whole video. Uh, this drone has major issues with the one that I received. Uh, it might not be like this with all of them, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, straight out of the box, received it today, was going to do a review, had problems charging it, had a popping noise in it, like something shorted out. Um, <clears throat> the, the prop guards does not even fit onto the thing that they sent with it, uh, and it is now stuck in headless mode. I mentioned during the video that you're going to see while you're watching it, when it crashes into the wall... I blamed the AC after flying this drone reading the instructions trying to put it back in manual mode it is stuck in headless mode it will not come out of headless mode so something is definitely terribly wrong with this drone and if you guys have one uh, <laughs> good luck to you um, my apologies if anything goes bad not trying to jinx nobody but please watch the video major problems and I just wanted to bring this up because I did not do it during the video I was not trying to hurt the company or anything like that it may have just been a faulty drone that they sent me but this one right here piece of junk please enjoy the video what is up YouTube this is Jesse's RC coming back at you today with something that might look familiar but it is actually not the same drone. I do not want y'all to get this confused with the pocket drone uh, quadcopter made by X Drone. This one is made by Tex Tech Toys, and it's called the Aerodrone Micro Drone. Uh, it is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, signal, and uh, it's four channel, uh, six axis gyro, has headless mode in it, uh, LED lights. Uh, one button return we're going to test that out too to see if that actually works the one uh, press return to home and uh, yeah that's about it for the box um, I'm not sure we're going to do a comparison of the uh, pocket drone and this one together I don't know the difference in the batteries it doesn't say anywhere on the box uh, maybe I can find something in the manual but this one's made by Tech, Tech Toys and uh I'm just going to go ahead and pop up uh, the instruction manual that comes in the box. That way you'll have a reference for all the trim buttons to make it easier. That way I don't have to mention it. Let me get the camera to focus. If I can get it to focus. It's trying to be a pain. Okay, so as you can see, you got your headless mode button, all your trims, your throttle. And this is for mode 1. I always fly in mode 1. I like my throttle on the left-hand side. So you can just pause the screen. Uh... If you have the drone with you right now and figure out which one goes with what but <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump right in uh, it comes with your USB plug-in uh, this I'm going to go ahead and mention this is one of the only differences that I'm able to tell from the pocket drone and this drone itself and that is a male to female plug-in to charge the uh, pocket drone came with a USB charger so uh, let's jump in let's do a comparison let's actually put these two in view so on your right is the pocket drone that I've already done a review on uh, once again it's made by X drone this one is made by tech toys um, so this is the one that we're going to review in today let's flip it flip it over see what's all in the back so inside of the door <clears throat> you have your uh, uh, blade guards and uh, inside here it comes with uh, let me just focus the camera for you guys. It comes with extra props, a little string that you can run through the corner of the remote remote control over here. Uh, that way you can carry it around. I personally don't put that on because it bothers me when I'm flying and it hits my hand and stuff. And it also comes with a miniature landing gear as you can see right there. I will show you how to install those on the drone along, along with the uh, prop guards. And uh, it also comes with a sticks I, I call them sticks uh, if you fly with your thumb and pointer finger and you like to fly like this by pinching it comes with that because uh, what's previously installed on it when it comes out of the box are the thumbs and I like flying with my thumbs so I will not be changing that but let's let's jump in let's take this drone out and the pocket drone and let's do a comparison between the two that way we can see the differences as you can already see they are uh, 
exactly the same remote. Um, cannot see a difference. I don't know if these guys are partners. Um, I'm not exactly sure. But <clears throat> let's take them both out and look at them in depth. As you can see on the top, they're the exact same. This one is actually a little bit fatter than this one uh, in the center. So there's your comparison on the top. Okay. And here is the only difference, as I mentioned before, that I can tell between the two. This one has a USB plug-in. This one is like male and female slip in to charge. And the on and off buttons are in the same spot. And I'm not sure. I already said this before. I'm going to try to find out for you guys about the battery. But there is your comparison between the two. They both go in the controller. Both have the same uh, back compartment on the controller. Um... So yeah, let's go ahead and move this one out of the way because that's enough comparison between the two I just don't want you guys to get confused because this one is a little different um, As you've seen it's a little bit fatter in diameter in the center here, but uh, Let's see. Let's uh, Talk about the Charger once again the uh, charger has a built-in one in the controller or it comes with the USB Your on and off switch is over here and since I like to fly in mode one with my throttle on the left your throttle is over here, you have your yaw, you have your right and left, and forward and backwards. So that's pretty much should cover it for the controller. I already showed you all the trims. Um, your batteries, you got to take off one side over here and one side over here and install your batteries. And what does it say here? Date of production, July 2016. So obviously these are different drones um because the x drone has actually been out before 2016 now i'm not sure if it means uh it was when this one was made or make or i'm not exactly sure you guys it, it doesn't give you much information i wish i knew if these guys were like uh partners and maybe you just made something similar and sold them the rights to it or something if anybody knows leave me a comment but they're almost exactly identical. I mean, nothing nothing really different here. I'm having some camera focusing problems. I apologize, you guys, for the blurriness. But let's uh, go down in depth about the drone, and we'll get it out, show you how to install the prop guards and landing gear, so I'll be right back. All right, YouTube, so similar to the pocket drone that we was doing a comparison of, when you put the prop guards on, there's these little slots, as you can see right down in there. And your prop guards has those little slots right there, so they're kind of of a pain, to be honest with you, to get on. And what's really bad about it is you can't store the drone with them installed. So I'm going to do this off camera. I just wanted to share that to you guys. That way I can go ahead and get them on without y'all having to watch a whole bunch of stuff about me messing around with those but they're really not that bad you just it's just kind of hard to do on camera i wanted to share that with you guys that they have to be poked down in those slots so i'll be right back all right youtube so i take back what i said about these uh blade guards they are uh not popping in and i'm doing everything right i've double checked the instructions but when i push them on they're supposed to lock in but as you can see it's on there and when I let go it just pops right back off so first thing I have to complain about with this helicopter is these could have been made in a lot more different fashion to put on uh, cause I mean really they're not worth a crap um, I can't even get them to lock in I've took my time I actually spent about 15 minutes with these things before I even came back to make it make a video of this just to make sure but I have tried several times you guys and I've tried putting the tab behind there to go behind there and I've got the little tabs lined up on the side right there and I can get them to pop in but when it snaps it just pops right back off so first flaw uh, prop guards are an epic fail um, let's just go ahead and talk about the landing gear these shouldn't give us a problem they're just little tabs but uh, they just uh, slide in like so and pop. <clears throat> Some of them can be kind of hard. Um, there we go. 
like that. There's one. Let's get the other side. It's kind of hard to do this stuff on camera, you guys, so you got to bear with me. I want to give you guys my honest reviews of products and stuff, and sometimes it can be difficult. And I don't want you guys to get tired of watching me do this stuff, so I try to do as much as I can off camera to keep them short and simple, but I want to give you my honest opinion. So the landing gear look fine. Uh, those are a plus to the drone, but the uh, <clears throat> pocket drone, the uh, blade guards that come with it went on flawlessly, so maybe there's a little difference there. These guys may have took their time a bit more because I had no problem installing them on that drone. But we have the landing gear on. Um, there's really not not that much to say about the the drone. I'm not sure if I mentioned or not, but your on and off switch for the controllers over here. Um, you got a nice little LED display on the drone. They're very bright. You got blue and red. Um, I believe, um, let me see if I'm telling you. Yeah, blue is the back of the drone. Uh, usually what I like is red. Um, that's the way it is on my DJI Phantom. So I guess I'm kind of used to that. So that's something to get used to if I fly a little bit off and it's hard for orientation. I have to remember blue lights are in the back. Not that big of a deal. But <clears throat> I'm going to get this thing charged up for you guys. Um, we're going to come back. I'm going to show you how to bond to it and do some 3D stuff with it and do a flop review. And here we go. All right, YouTube. So before we fly it, uh, I noticed something while I was charging it. Uh, I've never had this to happen before. And I'm not sure if it's kind of like a faulty thing going on here. Uh, when you plug it in to charge it with the controller, the light will turn on green and go off when it's charged. And the red light's just flashing because it's trying to bind to the drone, but it's currently turned off. But here's the problem that I'm having, if I can get this on camera. If I rotate this while it's inside the drone, uh, and I know you guys are probably thinking, well, why would you rotate it? Just let it sit still. And yeah, I get that. But what I done was I plugged it in, then I sat it down, and I heard this popping noise. So I actually hope I did not fry anything. Um, didn't have this problem with the pocket drone made by X Drone, but I want to show it to you guys. So if I wobble it, that light's going to go off, and I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but there's a little pop. You see that? The light went off, and all I did was wiggle it. I didn't pull out. I just kept it the same, and I just rotated the drone a little bit. And so now I have to unplug it all the way back out. And I have to plug it back in. And see, that time it didn't even come on, you guys. So, I'm not exactly sure what is going on. Let me try turning the controller back off. And then on again. Okay, so now it's working again. So, another flaw besides the landing gear. Something, maybe it's the plug inside the controller. Uh, this is This is brand new stuff, so I don't understand why it would be doing this uh, as I've said before I didn't have a problem with the USB plug-in style with the pocket drone so keep a watch on that it don't feel like it's getting hot or anything but it does make a popping noise you guys so I just wanted to bring that up but if I can get it charged up and everything goes good we'll do a flight review and I'll be right back once again all right, YouTube, so I got her sitting on the bed right now. Let's take her up and just see how this goes. Let me adjust the camera. All right, let's take her up. Okay, so very smooth takeoff. I literally, I literally done nothing except give it throttle and it just took straight off. So that worked out nicely. Um, the yaw, the rotation of it is actually very slow compared to the uh, pocket drone the forward and backward speed is quick enough but the yaw is a lot slower than the pocket drone so that's one thing to compare it with uh oh I tipped it over YouTube I'll be right back okay so one thing that I noticed I'm not sure if this is accurate <clears throat> When I flipped the drone over, I figured it'd be like any other drone. You just turn it back on. Apparently, this has like a safety feature 
or either something's horribly wrong with this drone because it didn't say nothing about a safety feature in the manual. When I tipped it over and set it straight up, all the LED lights are turned off. Um, so I'm gonna restart the controller. Let me turn the drone back on. Now I have LEDs again. Let me turn the controller on and bond to it. And now I have throttle again. So apparently it's a safety feature. If you flip this thing over, it's just gonna shut down so it don't tear up nothing. So that's one good thing about it so far. <clears throat> well, let's take this thing off, try to do some 3D stuff with it. Okay, very quick front flip, very quick. It's got very tight rotation in the flips. A little unstable with the barrel roll. But the front flip was very nice. This thing's got some speed to it. Um, so far, I'm guessing that the charge held like it was supposed to. I'm not having no problems with the battery life. Um, it's doing what it's supposed to do supposed to do and everything. Let's do one more front flip. Okay, so it doesn't like the AC. Okay, so as you've seen, um, ooh, hold on you guys. So as you see, just a little fall like that, and I already lost a prop, and I literally just bumped into the wall. I've done that several times with other drones, and I've already lost a motor, and this time it did not do a safety shut off. So I think I have enough to say about this drone. Let's go down to the bottom and have our final thoughts. All right, YouTube, so let's talk about this for a second I don't want you guys to think that I did not give these guys a fair review I have done nothing no differently than I done with the pocket drone made by X drone and this is the winner you guys um, this really wasn't gonna be a comparison but since the controllers were identical in the way they were made I have beat this drone up I have bent blades and it still flies and yeah I don't know what to say about this one you guys this one by far better if I had to recommend one uh, actually cheaper on Amazon I checked for you guys actually cheaper to buy this one anyways than this one and this one flies better I barely bumped the wall lost a prop already and the safety if it's even a safety shut off because it didn't mention nothing about it in the instructions completely failed um the, the review my honest opinion buy this one uh, I'm not trying to hurt the company's feelings I'm not paid to give these reviews so you know I'm gonna give you my honest opinion this drone is very sad very <laughs> very sad drone I, I don't even know what to say about it I had problems charging it uh, the, it flew very good for what little bit it done. I have to give it credit. Uh, the front flips was very tight in the roll and stuff. It did not try to do anything crazy. But just one little bump and caused that. And I had it to shut off when I wrecked it one time. I don't even know if that's a safety feature because if it is, it didn't even work the second time. And I lost a prop on the second time. So. You guys, this is Jesse's RC. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was my honest review. It was brand new. I opened it out of the box. I received it in the mail. Uh, and this was my honest review of it. Like I said, way better off to go with the pocket drone made by X drone if I can get the camera to focus here. Uh, and it's not wanting to focus. There we go. Much better off to go with this one. Uh, so there's my final thoughts on it you guys hope you enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe for more and thanks for watching